Here we have for sale our 2017 on a 67 plate Toyota Hilux Invincible. But as you can see, this is no ordinary Hilux Invincible. This is the Arctic Trucks AT37. Now this vehicle comes with a 2.4 litre diesel engine, 150 brake horsepower as standard with an automatic gearbox. But this has gone through the full AT37 conversion, which I'm going to talk you through in some detail during this video. We'll also have a look at the condition of this particular example, seeing as this is actually available for sale at the time of recording. So starting here at the rear of the vehicle, we can see that this one is specced with a canopy. It's an SJS hardtop canopy. You've got slide opening uh, windows here and of course a glazed tailgate on the back as well. We can open that up. Of course these are on these nice gas struts here to uh, make that as easy as possible. Looking at the condition of the tailgate, it's all in really really good order. There's a couple of very minor hairline marks just here to the left of the Invincible badge and a very minor hairline mark just here above the Arctic Trucks badge but all in all looking very very clean and tidy indeed. If we pull down the tailgate, again, this is actually assisted on a gas strut over here on the right hand side, which is very, very nice indeed, because as standard, these just slam down shut. And you can see here inside, we've got the full plastic hard wearing Toyota load liner in there as well. Plenty of tie down points and things like that in the back as well there for you. If we put the tailgate back up and close the top there, We'll see just uh, to the left here, we've got a reversing camera there, uh, which is a very nice bit of spec. It comes on the Invincible, as you can see here, Invincible is the uh, model name there. This one has got the Arctic Trucks tow bar. So again, no ordinary tow bar because of course how high the vehicle is, they couldn't just put a normal tow bar on here. So this is the Arctic Trucks uh, tow bar. That's the first sort of element to talk about here in the conversion which has been done. We'll continue to go around the passenger side and looking then down the passenger side here and this is when you can really start to see this is just not your ordinary Toyota Hilux. Uh, in terms of uh, any damage or anything there is a small little mark just here which has been touched in I can see uh, but again otherwise it's looking exceptionally clean and straight down the side of this vehicle. Now let's talk about should we say the elephant in the room and that is these enormous 37 inch BF Goodridge mud, uh, mud terrain tires. Now these are on a 17 inch rim, a 17 by 10 inch, so 17 inches uh, this way, 10 inches that way, uh, and as I say a 37 inch tire and that is where the name AT37 comes from, Arctic Trucks and then 37 for the size of the wheel. You will see uh, there have been some uh, available, AT35s, uh, and they are of course on a 35 inch tyre, uh, and as I say, that's what sets this one apart, is that it's on a 37. Arctic Trucks are the same company that, uh, if you ever saw the famous Top Gear episode where they went to the magnetic North Pole, they used an AT38, so a very, very similar vehicle to this here. So done by, as I say, the same company, this is a serious off-road machine, and as I say, just it's hard to actually give you a scale of how big this looks uh, in the flesh, but it has an incredible presence. Of course then, other bits which have been done uh, are the, the wheel arches here. So of course, big extended wheel arches on here. And again, these aren't just stuck on, they actually re-engineer this entire area to, able, to be able to accommodate that. Arctic trucks, um, mud flaps as well. Of course, uh, these are very, very capable off-road. As I say, good to have some protection there. Looking then underneath these massive wheel arches, uh, we'll talk about the suspension. So, I don't know if you can see here in here, but this is an old man EMU BP51 uh, bypass suspension system, and that is throughout the entire vehicle. So you've got fully adjustable shock absorbers on here, so you can actually change uh, using this here. You can actually change the um, softness of, uh, of the ride. So depending on the terrain that you're going to be traveling on, uh, it's all fully adjustable. But I think that just looks absolutely insane. Looking around to the front then, we've got the Arctic Trucks uh, front bull bar here. Uh, we've got some LED laser lights here, which have been added. And as I say, the camera will certainly not be doing this uh, justice. These are incredibly, incredibly bright. And we've got these lovely Arctic Trucks spots up here on top as well. And that wind deflector on the front and then all the usual uh, 
uh, invincible spec. So you get, of course, color-coded bumpers, front fog lights, nice LED daytime running lights here in the headlights themselves along the, uh, along the top. And I say, condition is very, very good. The other thing they do during this conversion, because uh, of course you're putting a lot more strain through things like the differential, uh, so they don't just stop by putting the wheels on and arches and things like that. All the gearing in the diffs has been altered by Arctic trucks to be able to accommodate that. They've even had to recalibrate the speedometer uh, as well. So it's, uh, as I say, they've really done a proper job. By all means, have a look into Arctic trucks and so you seriously know what they are doing. Inside, as I say, very much a normal Invincible in here. So you get the full leather interior, lovely overmats in this particular vehicle. And as I say, condition-wise in here, very, very nice indeed. Keyless entry, so you can, uh, when you've got your key in your pocket, you can press this button here and that will unlock or lock the doors. And just looking inside here, gives you a really good idea of condition. Lovely leather seats with a nice blue stitching, which matches the, I believe it's nebula blue, is the name of this colour, which is very, very nice. These 3D overmats, which are really good quality. And so we'll come around to the mo more of the spec when we go around to the other side. Let me just quickly turn, turn the radio down here, because there's a... Uh, I don't think we want to hear Radio 2 blasting during this video. Moving then around to the front, so as I say, we've gone through the suspension, we've got the old Man EMU, uh, this, uh, yeah, I say bypass suspension system, so BP51 suspension system, those amazing 37 inch tyres, the Arctic truck lights, and also the laser lights on the front as well. Looking at the condition of the bonnet, again, all in really good order. We have I just had a couple of drop, drops of rain here before filming. It's all looking in really, really good order. All the grill, very nice indeed. And as I say, it just gives you a scale here of how flared and how wide the track is on this vehicle. Underneath, we've got a lovely Arctic Trucks uh, sump guard under there. As I say, not just for show, this is a serious off-road machine if you wanted it to be, but quite surprisingly, drives very, very nicely. I thought when I first jumped in this, I thought you'd have tremendous road noise off the tyres, uh, but actually drives very, very nicely. You sometimes forget how big of a vehicle that you're in. Uh, some very small marks just here to this rear arch. I think that's just uh, yeah, that's just polish just there, uh, but a very small little touch in just there. But all in all, as a condition is absolutely fantastic. If we jump inside the cab, then we can start to have a look at some of the main spec inside the Invincible here. So on top of the driver's door we have electric windows, electric folding mirrors and again full leather interior inside here. This gives you a really good chance to have a look at the condition in there. Centre armrest, inside the centre armrest down here we do have a socket there so there's a two uh, pin socket so you get like an adapter in there and you could charge things using that. Down to the right hand side you have got a front radar on this vehicle so it gives you front collision and lane departure warnings and things like that if you want them. Of course you can toggle those on or off. Jumping inside then, we'll look at the speedometer here, 97,412 miles on this particular example. And as I say, you really wouldn't know looking at the condition, it is in really, really good order. Leather multifunctioning steering wheel on the right hand side here, we've got cruise control. Uh, just behind the steering wheel as well, we've got the start, start stop button just there. You can control the onboard computer using these controls on the right hand side. And then on the left, I'm going to just move the camera over here, we've got the volume controls for the radio, we can also answer and hang up the phone. Auto activated lights on the front here, and I say, nice thing with the lights as well, uh, the spotlights and the LEDs that we showed you on the front, they're all operated off the headlights, so it's not there's no separate switches or anything like that to be able to use those. DAB radio then on this lovely screen here in the middle. If we put the vehicle into reverse, you can see there the reversing camera displays there nicely as well. And if we go to map and nav, you can see that we've got a full sat nav system just there. Air conditioning down here on the left hand side and you've got heated mirrors as well and then just down below that we've got a USB port over here to the left two 12 volt sockets you've got a hill that's a hill descent button and also a diff lock uh, as well if you need it and then over to the right hand side you've got your four wheel drive setting so uh, H2 is for high ratio two wheel drive H4 high ratio four wheel drive and then low ratio uh, four wheel drive there when you really start getting stuck. You can see that we've got two full uh, remote keys. As I say, these are the sort of keyless keys that come with these and also some keys here for uh, the rear top as well. 
couple of cup holders. You've also got heated seats, of course, automatic gear stick, a little bit of wear to the top of the gear stick, I guess, as to be expected. And you can toggle here between the power and eco mode. But I must say, uh, credit to his previous owner, it's been very, very well looked after in here. Previously has been serviced with uh, a Toyota uh, dealer as well, and of course has been right through our workshop as well before it will leave us. So just to summarize, this is a 2017 or 67 plate Arctic Trucks AT37 Hilux Invincible. I will probably never get the chance to say uh, those words again that we've got this vehicle here in front of us because as I say these are exceptionally exceptionally rare if you were to give Arctic Trucks a brand new Hilux today to get this conversion is £21,500 plus VAT just for the conversion so that really puts into perspective the value that you are getting with a used version like this which as I say I believe this is probably the only one available in the country. If you'd like to inquire and see the full price on uh, this vehicle feel free to head over to our website there bridgenvans.co.uk and you can also uh, feel free to give us a call on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign uh, of course we'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have on this vehicle we can of course arrange finance uh, on this vehicle and any others that we have in stock currently with rates starting as low as 7.9 percent apr and we can also take cars or vans in part exchange as well but that is one mean looking truck as there uh, it's uh, an absolute honor to be able to uh, present this to you here look forward to hearing from you